We're going to talk about configuration data this time. Let's start by adding a couple configurations first. Let's go to the Configuration Manager. Right-click on Part 3, Add Configuration. Let's type in a name. I'll call this one Configuration 1. OK. Let's add another. Right-click, Add Configuration. And this will be Config02. As you remember, we've got a checkbox near the bottom of the Property Manager, Add, Rebuild, Save Mark. We're going to talk about that in just a second. For now, let's go ahead and click Accept. Notice that our active configuration has a green check mark. The passive configurations have a gray check mark. So what does the check mark mean? Well, this means that all configurations have full and up-to-date data sets. Now let's make some changes. I'm going to apply some materials. Right-click on the Material node, Edit Material. Let's use a 1020 steel. We'll apply it to this configuration. OK. Apply and close. Now let's go back to the Configuration Manager. So the active configuration has a green check mark, but now the inactive configurations show a minus sign instead of a check mark. So that means that the data set is out of date or it doesn't exist. When I activate the inactive configurations by double clicking on them, SolidWorks automatically updates the data set. Now the check mark indicates that the data set is current. How all of this works and what the point is, is this. When you generate the data set, and save the file, the file size increases. So on one side, it's faster to switch between configurations when the data set is up to date. But on the other hand, it might be cumbersome to do this for big and complex designs. SolidWorks has got something to help out with this. Let's right-click on Configuration 01 and scroll down to Add, Rebuild, Save Mark. Now we've got the Save icon next to our configuration name rather than a check mark. What this means is this. Every time you save your file, SolidWorks is going to save the full data set for this configuration. Let's go ahead and click Save. Now let's remove the mark. Let's right-click at the top level for the Configuration Manager. Scroll down to Rebuild Save Mark. Note that we can add the mark for this configuration, for all configurations, for specified configurations, or we can remove mark purge data for all configurations. Let me go to the System Options window for a moment. Let's click on Options. System Options tab, Performance Branch. Down at the bottom of this window, we can check or uncheck Purge Cached Configuration Data. Let's leave this option checked and click OK. Now, every time we save, SolidWorks will purge the data from all inactive configurations, except the ones that are tagged with the Rebuild Save mark. Let's add the save mark to our default configuration and save our work. Now let's remove it. And this concludes our tutorial about configuration data.